I'm Cheryl Johnson, and this is Basic Baking 101. Today I'll be instructing you on how to bake a classic angel food cake. You can pause the video here and round up all your ingredients. You begin separating your egg whites by cracking the egg on a sharp corner of some sort and then slowly peeling it open to reveal the egg yolk and letting the egg white run into a clean container. You can have no fat in this recipe so don't get any egg yolk in your egg whites. If you do it'll stop the cake from rising. So we're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt to the egg whites and this will help stabilize the protein in the egg whites. Then you whip them until they make what you call soft peaks. You don't want it too stiff at this point, just enough to where when you lift your whip from the bowl, it stands up sort of by itself but falls over a little bit. This would be a soft peak. So at this point you add three quarters of a cup of superfine sugar and one and a half teaspoons of cream of tartar. If you don't have superfine sugar, you can blend some up in a blender or food processor and make it yourself. Cream of tartar is scraped from the sides of wine barrels and it helps to stabilize the egg protein. You want it to now be in stiff peaks where they stand straight up and do not fall off the spoon at all. There's a nice stiff peak right there. Then we sift together the dry ingredients, which includes three quarters of a cup of cake flour, which is very important to use, two tablespoons of cornstarch, and a half a cup of superfine sugar. After they're sifted together, you slowly and carefully sprinkle the dry ingredients over the egg whites and fold them using a motion where you scrape underneath and fold on top as you're turning the bowl. This will incorporate the dry ingredients into the egg whites without losing the fluffiness. You can also put in cocoa powder, espresso powder, shredded coconut, uh, or orange, lemon, lime, grapefruit zest, or all of the above. Those things flavor the cake nicely. Just don't use any flavorings that have fat. After we place the batter into an ungreased angel food cake pan, this also adapts well to cupcakes if you don't have an angel food cake pan and then you bake it at a low temperature of 325 degrees for about an hour. You can tell the cake is done when you press lightly on the top with your finger and it springs back. Just like that. This cake is done. So we want to cool it upside down. That way the cake will not shrink or fall in on itself and stay nice and high. Make sure the cake is completely cooled about an hour or so before you try to remove it from the pan. You can scrape the knife, shave the knife close to the pan as possible, trying not to cut into the cake at this point. Just get the cake out of the pan. So you want to run the knife around it several times, make sure it's nice and loose before you try to take it out of the pan. This pan has a removable bottom, which makes it easier to get out. If you don't have one of those, you have to sort of work it out. Uh, then we can cut the rest of the cake from the bottom and it just pops right down nicely on the plate. There we have a delicious angel cake. Nice and tender and fluffy, ready for whipped cream and strawberries. And remember, it's a no-fat dessert, so you can splurge and have a nice big piece. Thanks for joining me on Basic Baking 101. I'm Cheryl Johnson. Happy baking! Basic Baking is sponsored by giftformylady.com the website with gifts all women love no sizes to pick and free shipping that's giftformylady.com